Hello everyone in peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us enjoy the good morning of Sunday. May the Lord bless us all in such a beautiful day. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, to the Muslims I might say, <clears throat> may Allah, the God with one leg, uh, help you. Uh, you know, each time I speak about Allah or the, the way Allah he look like, I remember the Congo. But the Congo have a three legs, I mean two legs plus his tail. But imagine you are God, yet you walk with one leg. I'm not sure how that will work, but eh, he will find a way. Ramadan is over, the month of peace. And you know, in the month of peace, a lot of people die. Uh, violent, explode all over the Middle East, all over Islamic countries. Actually, Ramadan proven, you can go right now and search on Google, that it is the most violent month ever in the year. <clears throat> in the month of Ramadan, there's many miracles happen. Number one, everybody get fat, which is proven that all Muslims are fasting very, very well. Number two, price of food skyrocketing, which is proven that nobody buying food because they are fasting, you know. And uh, number three, in Ramadan, everybody help everybody. To the point, if you leave your house for five minutes, you come back without furniture. In Ramadan, a lot of amazing, beautiful things happen. You know, we spread love. We make speech about killing the infidels, torturing them. Why we should not say a Merry Christmas to Christians? Because that will hurt Allah. And why we should not celebrate Valentine's Day? Because that's ugly. And why uh, we should not say uh, Assalamu Alaikum to the Christian and Jews, which is the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad, the Prophet of one leg God. He said, if you see Christian and in the street, force them to walk in the sewage and don't forget to humiliate them because this is a month of Ramadan. Now, all of those things are so beautiful and we cannot really mess around with it. It's amazing. Uh, <clears throat> there is a Abdul yesterday. He was trying to call me and I tried to call him back. But uh, it didn't work. You know, it looked like he, uh, he called me and he, uh, uh, he backed down. We will see if we can call him later. Uh, yesterday, one of you, he sent me a link for uh, Muslims. They are doing uh, what... Uh, what look like a live show supposedly and they don't have a Skype to call them um, but you know I, when I look to Muslims when they are promoting the religion or let us say uh, five uh, Muslims claiming that they have knowledge and they are the one who is going to give you answers and I die laughing at those answers as an example one of them asked uh, about the knowledge of Allah the Abdul he said to him the knowledge of Allah brother is not limited by our knowledge you know, as an example, there is things that might make no, make no sense for you, brother. But uh, uh, but the knowledge of Allah, for the knowledge of Allah, it makes sense. <clears throat> and I was like, that's that's so beautiful. I mean, the answer it doesn't make sense for us, but it makes sense for the knowledge of Allah. Like by Allah knowledge, we knew that the sun. Uh, sorry, the <laughs> uh, there's hail is in mountains in heaven, and Allah break hails from those mountains. I mean, this is the knowledge of Allah, which is really, I find, very, very amazing. Uh, for sure, nobody have knowledge like the knowledge of Allah. Uh, I'm going to open my Skype. If there is any Muhammadan who would like to call, and only, please, only Muhammadan call. And by the way, I might change this Skype name, or account, I mean. Uh, I'm not going to delete it, so nobody can make it, like, I mean, the same account and use it to fool you. But I might change it because it became so huge to the point I cannot even find a name inside. <clears throat> I mean, literally, I have tens of thousands of text messages. Tens. Let us see. All right, we are. <clears throat> I open now uh, Skype Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number, brother and sister, 
Let us see who is a Muslim would like to help us with this with the with the with the knowledge of Allah. Say yes, and I will send you a screenshot to him, and he will debate you. Uh, one leg God, he will debate a Farid. Uh, hmm. Look at this guy. He says you will debate Farid. Say yes, and I will send this uh, screenshot for him. Guys, do you remember the guy who sent me just to show you? Just to show you. Hold on, hold on. Just to show you the stupidity of those people. Do you remember? Do you remember? The guy who sent me a message claiming that he is an ex-Muslim and he want <clears throat> to call me to act as if he is a Muslim and then I will debate him and then he will leave Islam. Do you remember the guy? And I told you this is one of the kids of Fifi for sure. You know, for, first of all, we don't do that. This is the faith of Muhammad and they are people of deception. Now. The same guy, let me show you. Let me show you what he's saying. Hold on. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> okay, man. All right. Let us see. Yeah, Skype is uh, taking time to load. All right. Guys, uh, it's updating conversation, so we don't have all the conversation. Hold on, give me a second. Okay. <clears throat> this is a guy, his name is Saifullah. If you remember, I posted a snapshot of his uh, text to me. You remember? Who remember it? You remember? Hello, Christian Prince. I'm ex-Muslim from Jeddah, Jeddah, which means Saudi Arabia. Uh, but an atheist, oh, okay, I want to give my evidence that the Christianity is true. Huh. I want you, I want you, okay. Can I call you whenever you are alive? And one more thing. I want people to leave Islam from the devil. And I have read the Quran, Quran and have good grammar and pronounce words correctly and sound like a Muslim. Uh -huh. Okay. No screen? No screen. Oh, sorry, guys. I apologize. No screen. Here you go. Okay, now you see the screen. And actually, the, uh, actually, Saif Allah is right right now. He's live on air. So I will try to call him. But let us read together first. Uh, <clears throat> so, again. Hello, Christian Prince. I'm an ex-Muslim from Jeddah, uh, but an atheist. Uh, uh, you know, uh, okay, but I want to give me evidence about Christianity is to be true. And can I call you whenever you are alive? And one more thing. I want people to, uh, to leave Islam uh, as if from, from the devil. I have read the Quran and I have good grammar and uh, can pronounce words correctly like Muslims. And then, can I pretend to be one? Uh, then you can refute me and I pretend to leave Islam and convert to Christianity. And then right away in the same day, if you remember, I posted a copy, a snapshot of this conversation in my Patreon. Those who are in Patreon, they remember it, right? It's still there, I think. You can go there and you can see it. And I told you, I'm sure, actually even the title there was one of the Farid babies, something like this. <laughs> and now look. He tried to call me. I did not answer him uh, because this is stupid for me, regardless who you are. Then he tried to call me and then I, I wasn't online. So look, he's angry now. You are dumb garbage. Pick up the call. You are scared of Farid. Do you see? Did I tell you that this is one of the boyfriends of Farid? Look at the decency of those garbage people. 
He, he is the one who said that Allah is evil. You see the taqiyya? Do you see the taqiyya? Read carefully. I want people to leave Islam as it is from the devil. So this Muslim is willing to say that Allah is the devil. Islam from the devil and Muhammad is a devilish prophet. Just to fight Christian prince. Do you believe it? This is Islam, my friend. It is literally from the devil. It is literally from the devil. You know? Uh, don't call me, please, unless you are a Muslim. I will block you. And we are not done yet. When I say call me, you can call me. Now, because I want to call this guy. You are dumb garbage. Pick up your call, scared uh, Farid. Uh, you can call uh, Farid uh, in Discord. I have an account, uh, his account, you dumb garbage. Uh, garbage. Mm. Now I called him. I said to him, are you sure? You know, I wasn't online. Uh, are you sure? He did not answer. Then I called him again, are you there? And then he did not answer. Okay, where are you, kid? He is not answering. I sent him like a crying, uh, you know, and then may your one leg god uh, 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 help you <laughs> one leg god help you and then he answered back lul one leg god will you debate farid he is willing to debate you debate say yes say yes yeah. why people are calling when i i said don't call what's wrong with people you see that's why i hate this skype uh uh, say yes, and I will send the screenshot for Farid. I mean, the guy I made for him uh, uh, video saying, yes, please, let us do it. Yes. Uh, hold on. Let me copy for him what he said to me. This is his quotation. <clears throat> this is what he sent me. I sent him back, yes. With, with, yes, sure. I want people to leave Islam as it is from the devil. Mm. Now it's time to call this potato. Shall we? I'm using other gadget to call him. He's not answering. Okay, well, he did not answer. It says he's active, but... But look at the coward, cowardness behavior of those people. Hello? Hello, is it Christian Prince? Yes, are you a Muslim, my friend? Hello. Uh, well, actually, I'm a Muslim. I'm a born Muslim from Sri Lanka. Okay, you are a, you are a, you are a Muslim. I'm just, uh, you know, after listening to all, you know, you, you are a Muslim. Uh, I thought of, you know, I'm just on the fence now. My friend, just... I'm on the fence. Well, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. That means I'm on you the... Are a, you are a Muslim yeah. from Sri Lanka? Yeah, yeah, that's right, yes. I'm from Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. What do you like to say to us? Go ahead. Yeah. 
Yeah, actually, uh, I, I'm just on the fence uh, so, uh, after listening to all the debates and all your videos and all. So, just I want to actually, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I just want to get some knowledge from you about the Christianity because I got some uh, little bit of knowledge about Christianity. Hmm. That is because uh, what I want to know is only one thing. One thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, did Jesus Christ know that he is going to sacrifice himself to the uh, uh, can you, front can of you, the can you speak, humankind? Can you, speak, you can you speak slower so I can understand you? Because I don't understand reading you when you speak uh, yeah. fast. Okay, so can you what? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, actually now I want to know, what I want to know is, did, when Jesus Christ came to this world, Did he know his mission that he came to save the uh, uh, humankind from the uh, from the sins? Did he know that? Yeah, sure, he knew. The mission yeah. Was, yeah. was already clear. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, how how comes that? Uh, then there is a problem for me now. When he was sorry, sorry. Don't don't speak, fast, don't speak fast. Don't speak fast. You are you are he so nervous, my friend. My friend, you are so nervous. Speaking so fast, I cannot understand you. You have uh, you have a heavy accent for me. Speak a little, little bit slower, please. Okay, uh, so. Ah, right. Okay. Okay, okay. Actually, now when he was crucified, hmm. I know that he he shouted "Allah, Allah, Lama Sabrathing," saying, "Oh hmm. God, Oh God, why are you forsaken me?" Hmm. Uh-huh. Something like that. Uh, now, why why did they shout like that? If he his if his mission was uh, uh, you know already known to him, hmm. why why did he tell like that? Well, so he was my, he, he, he was quoting from the yeah. o- uh, okay. There is a there is a quotation from the Old Testament speaking about Jesus. And in that, uh, uh, yeah. in that quotation, there was the, the the prophecy is about when yeah. Jesus come, he will be in the cross, and you know certain words will be said, and he will say, you know. So he was quoting what is said uh-huh. about him. This is why he said at the end, it's complete. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, so it was a prophecy. Hmm? That's why uh, I I couldn't I couldn't get you properly. If you can explain it to me again, please. If you well, don't mind. Okay. In the uh, uh, no, if, yeah. G- Jesus, okay, like let us say somebody said about me something, and time come and those huh? those things which said about me long time ago come to be true. So I quote those yeah. who spoke yeah. about me. If you go to the book of Sam, chapter twenty-two, it says exactly what Jesus uh-huh. was saying. You know, Eli, uh-huh. Eli, Lima Shabakta. So it says exactly. So he was quoting the book of Sam, the book of Sam. Chapter twenty-two, uh, verse number two. Uh, so this is not him saying, right. you know, uh, uh, in a, in a moment. He was quoting what is mentioned uh, about him as a prophecy, and what will happen uh-huh. to him in the cross. So if you go to that that uh-huh. book, you will find the prophecy about Jesus, yeah. and you will see Jesus quoting the okay, yeah. quoting what is said about him. Okay. Now let me ask uh, you: as long yeah. as long as long you are speaking about yeah. the knowledge of the mission, do Allah knew his mission? Uh, well, you know uh, about that. Uh, that uh, there are some questions which I have to ask, and there's another thing I no, want no, to no, ask. No, 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 Uh, uh-huh. Jesus said before Abraham I am Jesus said that he's the Alpha is the Omega is the begin the end is the beginning of every creation so I'm asking you now the same question I'm not changing yeah. topic do Allah and you why he what is the mission of Allah in this earth yeah according to the Quran it's the mission is that we have, we came to you know worship him okay we have to worship him and so thank you and the, what is what what what, what what is the purpose you know, sort of, uh, okay what is the yeah. purpose of this worship What is the purpose of this worship? Yeah. What What does that mean? Yeah, worship in a sense. Yeah, worship in a sense, just to give the regards to whatever the the, the things which he has given us. Like say, for example, myself, I have been given the life. I have been given everything. I have been given the sight. Okay. Given the, the, so the, if you the if you if you come so uh, uh, okay, in order to worship Allah, do you need to commit sin or you do not need to commit sin? To commit sin. Yeah. Well, no. The thing is this: if we commit sins, you know, He will forgive our sins. No, no. Anyway, uh, uh, slowly, slowly, my friend. Slowly, 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 my friend. I don't, I don't know what's your what's name. What's, what's your name? What's your name? I'm, I'm Tony here. Tony. Tony. How, how uh, Tony? You know, why you are using a, uh, a name have nothing to do with Muslims? You are Tony. Okay, Tony. Tony Muhammad. Yeah, Mr. Actually, so, Mr. Muhammad, Mr. Muhammad, Mr. Muhammad, Mr. Muhammad, okay, no, it's not me. It's, uh, it's like that, you know? Okay, yeah, not okay, me, not me, Ahmad, no problem. Okay, okay, I'm asking you, I will repeat the question yeah. again, I will repeat the question again. 
Do you need to commit yeah. sin in order for Allah to like you, to be happy with you? Do you need to commit sin? Do Allah like no, Do no. Allah like Muslims to commit sin? No, Allah doesn't want us to sin. No. Okay. Why Why no, Allah, Allah Why Allah, Allah don't like you to commit sin? Is that because sin is from the devil? Uh, uh, it's a means of from the devil. Yes. Yes. So why Why Allah Prophet He said. If you don't commit sin, Allah will kill you all, will destroy you, and He will replace you with people who commit sin. This is the hate in front of you. Read it. And, and this is Sahih. This is Sahih. Read it. It's in, it's, it's in the screen. Yeah. I can't. Uh, sorry, this is the this is the, this is the, this is the Aif hadith. This is the Aif, not Sahih. This is the Aif, the Aif. This is the Aif. So. What's the screen? It's not in the screen. Oh, not in the screen. Oh, sorry. Here we go. I'll in the screen. No, no problem. Give me a second, please. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. What do you say? Yeah, still I didn't get it. Maybe right. there's a delay. delay. Right. Right. Not yet. Not yet. No, still I didn't get it on the screen. No problem. It was, uh, it was no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got it. Well, it clearly says that, uh, yeah, mm, yeah, just a minute. Take this chat out, chat out, take the chat out, I can see. Take the chat out. Huh? Yeah. Mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Don't forget to mute YouTube. My friend, don't forget to mute YouTube so we don't have double sound. Mute YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that means, is it a Sahih Hadith? This is Daif. So yeah, that's yeah. I don't know. I, what I what I know is always that uh, these are all human written things. No, human made all these hadiths. Oh, is it? So I think well, it's it, from God. Is it the Maybe Quran? That, you know, is it the mean, Quran delivered to you from a human? His name is Muhammad. No, I'm not talking about the Quran. I'm talking about the well, the Quran. Hadith. The Quran too is delivered to you by a human. Is written by a human. Is preserved by a human. Allah is not there, and the hadith is the same. So why, why, and from the same person, Muhammad, it says here, Muhammad saying, Abu Huraira said, the messenger saying, by him who, who is ha a hand in my, is my life, if you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence. Who is saying that? Muhammad. So why now you don't accept it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was maybe it's not practical, you know, it's, it's, uh, uh, let it be any religion, you know, it doesn't match the, match the needs, you know. What, 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 what? I don't understand. What, hold on, I don't, I don't understand, my friend. I don't understand. Speak slowly. What, what, what is the reason not to accept it? Slowly. No, 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 no. What, I, what I feel is that somebody, you know, hmm. whoever who has made the hadith, he has purposely done something to offend the, maybe the, ah, the, the whatever, but know? this is Abu Huraira, my friend. Abu Huraira, he is the companion of the Prophet, the one who used to go and sit behind him and hold, hold him from his waist like his girlfriend. Oh, he's doing that. So why Abu Huraira would do that? Yeah, that's the thing. That's, that's my problem. Since I saw the hadith, uh -huh. so, yeah, I feel that's a problem. Oh, there's yeah. a problem. Then, oh, okay, but okay. The Quran, of course, I don't okay, think okay. There are things, you things like that. no, no problem. Is, uh, no, no. From the God. Okay, no problem. Yeah. But why? So, so why Muslim they call it Sahih if it's not the good hadith? Here we go. This is in the book of Sahih Muslim. Look. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so why you Muslims? Those, why you call it Sahih? Do you, do you know what Sahih mean? After. Sahih mean correct. Yeah. So why you call it correct hadith? Authentic hadith is not authentic. Just because now it's embarrassing, you Muslim, you start saying, "Oh, this is not it cannot be true. This is crazy. What kind of God wanna do that to us?" Yeah, yeah, I do understand that. That's why it's a puzzle for me also, to be frank. Mm. Yeah, and uh, how about the Quran? Now, what is the evidence you can give me that uh, Quran? And it's written what? by human. Can you give me a very good example for that? The Quran written by human. All of it. Op open page number A. Open page number A. It says that this Quran is according to recitation of etc. 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 And starting from Hafs ibn Asim, Hafs ibn Sulaim ibn Asim. Asim is his stepfather, yeah. not his real father. And uh, they give you like uh, uh, many names after then according to, according to, according to, according to, according to, according to Uthman, according to Muhammad. <laughs> so where is the Quran of the of God? It's not exists. Secondly, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, if I ask you right now, the yeah. Quran, the Quran says, if this book yeah. is not from 
Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction okay. in it, correct? The contradiction was that I know, yeah, I have heard that. Yes. Okay. Which one yes. Allah? Which one so Allah? Which one, so which one Allah the, created the, first? The, the, okay, the, the, the my, my, Muhammad. Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Which one Allah yeah. created first? The trees, the mountains, or the stars? <clears throat> yeah. Well, the, well, the thing is, when it comes to the creation, mm -hmm. you see now maybe the person who, 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 whoever who put down the thing, maybe he must have done a mistake. That's just a small mistake. Because anyway, we know very well that the God is the one who created that. Okay, so the one, who, the one who. So you are saying now. Okay, so now we are agreeing that the Quran have a mistake. Yeah, maybe you see whatever it is, because hmm. it's the human who has done the thing. No. Uh -huh. the, but a second the ago, uh, but a second ago, the, a second, the, uh, my friend, uh, okay, so See, now, like the Bible, my friend, my, the, hold on, like the, Muhammad, the, Muhammad, hold on, after 100, a sec, but a second yeah. ago, yeah. a second ago, I showed you the hadith, yeah. I said somebody did yes. that, show me Quran, because Quran is more, is a trustworthy from Allah, and now you are saying the Quran is uh, not from Allah, obviously somebody is playing with it. So what we will do now? Where is it? What where is it? Where we can find your holy book located? Yeah, maybe out of hundred percent, maybe five percent is there. Because ah, five you know, percent of the Quran is there. Option. Okay, okay. This yeah. is this is my maybe challenge. This is my challenge to you, uh, my my friend Muhammad. Yeah. I am. I want to speak. Yeah. I'm speaking to you in a friendly way. So when I say the word challenge, I don't mean to offend you, but I, in a friendly way. Yeah. Let us say we are friends drinking coffee together. You want to like you like, you like count some coffee? <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm drinking coffee right now. If you want, no problem. So listen, you said only five percent of the Quran is there. Can you give me one yeah. thing in the Quran? Yeah. You can be sure it's from Allah. Just one thing. Yeah. Okay. Now you what? see, it says about the creation, about how how God gives the the mm. the rain and the, you know the way it works, the, the solar system, how it works, and. You know, uh, my friend, you look around, my friend, so, so you are saying the, the way the solar system, okay, kingdom, uh, my friend, kingdom, the way you are saying the solar yeah. system is a created is from Allah, this is for sure. A second ago, I told you which one Allah created first, the stars or the trees and the mountains, and you agree that this is a mistake in the Quran, so it cannot be from Allah. And now you are saying to contradict yourself, saying the solar system, how it's no, no. created from Allah. No, 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 no. I think you didn't get me because what I told was hmm. Allah gave the correct message. The human who wrote down, maybe hmm. by mistake, by human error, we must have put a one into two and two into one, you know, so that like that uh, one forward, one in, in two verses. So it doesn't mean that the whole thing is gone for six. Okay, so anyway, okay, Ma you, Muhammad, you, Muhammad, I'm asking you, okay, can you show me one thing? Okay, no problem. You can can you show me, uh, Muhammad, yeah. Muhammad, can yeah. you show me one thing in the Quran is about, yeah. about creation or about science is not wrong? Just one thing. Yeah, it's okay. I'll tell you one. Uh, hmm. Now it says that uh, about the creation of the, 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 the animal kingdom and the human in pairs. Means, uh, in what? Uh, human. Uh, it says uh, it says in the, in the Yasin, Surah Yasin, it says that about the creation, hmm. how I created the animal kingdom in pairs. It means uh, male and female. Well, that okay, I will go with you. From the scientists. Okay, but okay, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So your God Allah claimed yeah. that he created everything, a uh, living creature from male and female, yeah. correct? Okay. Did Allah create shaitan, male yeah, and female, yeah, or one only male? Yeah. Including the plants, including the plants. No problem. Did Allah including create shaitan? Did, uh, did Allah create shaitan, male or female? Well, uh, well, that of course, I think I'm not quite sure. I have to be frank. Ah, okay, so but, the first uh, question sure. is gone. He's yeah. not sure. Okay, second question then. It's easy. I'm trying to be easy with you. There's a lot of animals. They have nothing to do with gender. And actually, there's some kind of fish. The same fish can be male or female. And there is there is many, many uh, yeah. creatures exist. They have nothing. They have no yeah. gender. And they, they all what they do, they just like uh, multiply yeah. themselves like cells. So how Allah he says such a thing and now as long as you are the one who says he created okay hold on yeah. just to make it simple you are, you are, you are from yeah. India my friend you, you are from India I am from Sri Lanka okay my friend I love I, I love people from I'm India Sri Lanka wonderful so is is the mule is a mule male or female uh, I think it's 
I am not quite sure about that, but maybe now again you are what you are telling is it's again a creation. It's up to the no 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 no. Hold on, hold on. The, 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 slow down, slow down, the, you know, slow down. You said to me Allah created uh, Muhammad. You said to me Allah created yeah. everything, male and female. Okay, Allah in the Quran no, in chapter Allah in the Quran and Allah in the Quran says yeah. in chapter sixteen verse number eight, it is He who created horses, mules, and donkeys. Okay, what is the female mule? He created, you see, he did not say, I made horse and then the horse yeah. did, did boom, boom with the donkey. No, he said, I created, which means he created individually creatures. One is yeah. called horse, one is called the mule, and one is called donkey. Yeah. Okay, you said to me a second ago, yeah. Allah, he said, he created everything, male and female. Okay, what is the female of a mule? Yeah, no, 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 actually now what you are doing is you are just quoting one verse and just uh, challenging that verse. My friend, because who yeah, care about one verse or not? No, we are, we are, no problem, my friend, my friend, you, you are free to, listen, Muhammad, Muhammad, you, you are more than welcome to quote for me one million verse to explain this verse, no problem, but you cannot, you just said that there is a creation, Allah created, uh, all creation he created, male and female, okay, Mr. Mule, what is yeah. the female mule? If there's a female mule or only male mule? Maybe it's a female, no? There's a female for a mule. I never heard of that. Maybe in Sri Lanka. I never heard that a mule have a female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, again, okay. Again, so this is so the, again, uh, so again, your God Allah. So uh, so again, so again, yeah. your God Allah is uh, is wrong. You know. No, it doesn't mean it's wrong. It just shows that the the, the knowledge. It's it's showing the people that mm. it created even the plants. Yeah, but does. but you so see, but he's but he but he said he created the mule, my friend. But he said he said he is naming he is naming kind. He is naming kind. There's kinds: here horses, mules, and donkeys. When all of us we knew that a mule is not a creature created by itself as a as a kind. It is just Mr. Donkey. He's you know he fell in love with Mrs. Uh, 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 horse. Uh, and they, you know, have boom, boom, and then they have a baby. His name is a mule, but this is not a creation by itself. So Allah is wrong. Okay, listen, the Quran, as an example, says yeah. that Allah created everything from okay. water. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, all oh. the nature around us is being created by the okay. mighty creator. No right. doubt about it. So There's from, from the water, yeah. everything created. What he meant by that? Sorry? He said everything living thing is created from water. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Is Yeah. Is, yeah, even the science says, no, the is, beginning of this thing is from water, like no, they, okay. they is the, say but I, is, I just, okay. saw some scientists they all are right. talking about. All it, right, you know, all right, all right, the, all right, all right, all right. Take, take it verses. My friend, take it easy. This is the verse, chapter twenty one, verse number thirty. Don't the unbelievers see that that the heaven and the earth were joined together? And then before we call yeah. them a sender, we made from water every living thing. Okay. Is genies made yeah. from water? No, no, that is, you know, you know, the thing which is visible for the human, it's, it's, it's telling about that. Now, I can't see a gene and all. So we are just, it's, it, gives a, it gives a reasoning about the visible things in the, in the, in the world. That is the human and the animals and all this, the full animal kingdom, human and all, you know. My friend, my friend, doesn't he say he, does, does he say human and animal or said everything, every living thing? Do you see? Uh, are you saying your God Arabic uh, 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 Arabic language is, is wrong, bad? He said we created, we made from water every living thing, which means anything is living, anything is living, uh, and the earth. You know, in the, in the, exactly. In the earth, okay, in the earth, but means, you know, but my friend, hold on. Yeah. Adam himself wasn't created in the earth. Adam was created in heaven. Secondly, a genie is in the earth yeah. too. Genie, he live in the earth. Isn't it your Muslim belief that when you go in the bathroom, Shaitan, he go inside your anus? Uh, okay, show me the thing. Show me the. Show me the the, the evidence for that. Well, there is a you know to make it simple for you. As long as you are from Sri Lanka, there is a sheikh from Sri Lanka like you. And you can search on YouTube, let me find the video. Uh, he speak about if you go to the bathroom, 
you know, uh, Shaitan, uh, he, yeah. he, you know, he play with your uh, bum, you know. Let me show you. Hold on. Uh, I can so show you hate in Arabic too. Here we go. This is, you know, yeah. this is your, uh, this is your imam. Let me put the screen for you. This is your imam. He's from Sri Lanka, like you. Islamic Satan thought, uh -huh. and he explained to you that the prophet he said. If you enter the bathroom yeah. before you say "A'uzu billahi min al-khubthi wal if you don't say "I, I seek a, a refuge yeah. by Allah" from the the the, the, yeah. the bad ones and the bad uh, one knees, or, uh, you know, Shaitan he will play, he will go inside your bum, and he will block it. Okay, so Shaitan is then he live in the earth, and even he go inside your bum, and he play with your anus, which is proven to be scientifically true. All Muslim bums are really weird, so. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Now, now, okay, and you agree. Thank you for agreeing. So now, so now, so now, how Allah, how Allah, He say that Shaitan, uh, how Allah He says every living thing is from water. When Shaitan who live in this earth, he is created from fire. Yeah, even it's mentioned in the Quran, it's uh, created from the fire. So there is no exactly no dealing with it. Exactly. So how how every uh, how every living thing? Fire. So how every living thing is made from water? Exception. Huh? Exception. Exception. Ah, okay. Exception. That word all is the problem. You know that word oh, okay. all. Oh, okay. Okay. Problem. All right. right. Being, and if not all word is not there, ah, and there is no problem at all. Ah, and we people, different, different people, uh, different, different. Uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, communities have been uh, created in different ways. Ah, by the yeah, yeah. Oh, by, uh, okay. By the, you know, so fire, this, this is know, all these things. You know, like uh, all right, yeah, all right. It's like that. Uh, so so exception. This is this is ex all, this is exception. Even yeah, though the verse, all. even the verse says every living thing, but it's exception. Where where it says exception, where do you get the word exception? Are you fabricating new Quran now? Hello. No, no, no. What I mean is, whoever who wrote the Quran, he put all instead of without. Uh, they are one. They can't be all. So, you know, if you if we just uh, think uh, it can't be all, maybe okay. Maybe the person who wrote who. Put ah, down the, who wrote so now okay. Again, we go back to the point that again you are saying the Muslims they add words uh, in the Quran. So now, according to you, the one who said every living yeah. thing, he is a liar. This is not Allah. There's somebody adding yeah. that. I agree with you. Somebody adding that. Yeah, this is stupid. This is really stupid. Cannot be Allah. Allah is not stupid like that. Okay. You see. Okay, no, you I, see. I, you see, okay, Muhammad. I'm, I am going with you. I'm going with you, and I need your help. Can you show me one thing Allah He said is smart? Because you are the one who chose for me this verse. I mean, I mean the the the, the, the one about uh, uh, the creation and etc. So show me one thing, Christian Prince. He will not be able to make a story out of it. Anything. Something you are solid from because each time we explain what you say to me, we find that the Quran and me yeah. and you agree that the Quran is wrong. And you say, according to you, obviously somebody adding words here yeah. in the Quran. Hmm. Like, now, can you give me a verse which Christian Prince cannot refute? About the creation, you mean? Anything, anything you want. Something, yeah, yeah, about creation. Oh, go ahead. How Allah created the yeah, how Allah created yeah, this yeah, now, uh, world? The, you see, you know, it says that uh, in uh, about the, you know uh, the, how how He created the sun and the earth, how it goes in a course for the appointed time and all these things. You know, which is wonderful. For us. How the earth you goes know? to up in, in appointed time? What does that mean? Explain to us. That means until the end of the world, it will keep on going according to the hmm. will and plan of the Creator. Hmm. Okay. Will and plan of the Creator until right. the end of the world. Um, no, it will keep on okay, going. My, my friend. So the uh, moment it stops, means it's a disaster. Uh, uh -huh, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Okay, let us see how your prophet explained yeah. this verse, the one you choose, not the one I choose. Uh -huh. Remember, you are the one who chose this. And remember, yeah. Muhammad for sure he knew yeah. the, the Quran meaning better than you and me, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Right. Show me the, the, the examples like uh, I want to see. Yeah. You're a prophet, he will explain to you what he meant by what you said. This is the hadith, it says, Once I was yeah. with the prophet in the mosque, in the time of the sunset, the okay. prophet said, O oh, Abu Dhar, do you know where the yeah. sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle yeah. know best. Okay, wonderful. He said, now the Muhammad mm -hmm. saying, 
it goes and prostrate underneath Allah's throne. And that is Allah's statement that the sun runs in it to a fixed course. Chapter 36, verse number 38, the one you choose for me. So your prophet yeah, saying, okay. okay, so fixed course, this is not about the end of the world. This is about every day uh -huh. the sun setting. According to Muhammad, every day the sun goes and set in the other side of the world, which under the throne of Allah. And then Allah, he ordered it to go back and, you know, shish kebab. No, maybe under the throne, maybe it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a dual meaning, like maybe uh, according to his wish, whatever it is, according to his wish, maybe it's that, uh, that's what uh, they have put like that uh, under the, uh, you know, whatever it is, you know, because it, uh, that cause, you know, the cause will never end. So we all know that. You can see it, that's what it says, you know, like, welcome back at the now. Sorry? Hello. Yeah, say again, say again. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, this you know, it, it shows that uh, anyway we can see the, the 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 course of the sun and the moon, which you know in the in the Valkamara Kadarna Hunazila. You see, like how it gets reduced and everything is visible thing for us. The way it's getting, how it's giving the uh, the, the the what you call reflecting the the light into the uh, the moon, and it's only a reflector, like you know, different between the sun and the moon. It gives a very clear picture. No? Don't you think so? My friend, the hadith is so clear. He is saying where the sun yeah. goes, the sun goes in America in in a, in a, under the throne of Allah. Explaining what the sun said, so you cannot say this is different. Yeah. I mean, your prophet explained it very well. Read carefully. In the time when the question yeah. happened, the question happened. It says, in the time of the sunset, yeah. in the time of the sunset, the prophet said, "O Abu Dar, do you know where the sun set?" So what what was the question? Do you know where the sun goes? Where the sun set? Okay. I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, it goes prostrate under Allah's throne. And this is Allah's statement, the sun runs into a fixed course. So according to your religion, according to your prophet, the sun every day have a course and the course is going from the east to the west. Going under the throne of Allah, take a nap there, sleep in the morning, Allah wake up the sun, he send it back. That's again a hadith. It's again a hadith, no? Written by a human. So uh, the Quran written no. by a human, you see, no, a second ago I show you, you say the Quran have errors and the Quran written by a human, obviously. So what we will do now, how you can follow a religion, all of it is written by a human and the excuse is a human. But isn't it your prophet a human and you follow him? Is your, yeah, is no. your, is your prophet a god? He's a human. Okay. So you're a prophet now explaining the yeah. Quran and because the explanation is a stupid, so what do you say? You say this is written by a human. That's a, that's not a good excuse, my friend. That's not good for you. Yeah, no, no. Anyway, it's written by a human. No, you see, whoever who wrote down, someone, a human has to write down the Quran. No? Not that God is God in the book from up, no? Even, in, even the Bible also. My so friend, wrote, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. Yeah. So now the Quran is written yeah. by a human, the Hadith written by a human. Both of them, they have errors and mistakes and stupidity. So what we will do? How you follow Islam? How you say I'm a, how you say yeah, I'm a Muslim? Yeah. That's why I always say that 5%, maybe less than 2-3%, which we are refuting always, you know, like uh, saying that uh, so many, My so friend, many, what you call... Uh, isn't it me who things, ask uh, you, uh, uh, Muhammad, Muhammad, isn't, it me, who, error, isn't it me who asked you to give me the most powerful verses, which is not written by the... the you said only 5%, 5% is good from Allah in the Quran. Okay, 5%. So now, I said to you, give me from the 5% something powerful. You gave me this. So even the five percent is not is not from Allah according to you. Now what we will do? So let us make it two percent. So five percent proven to be wrong. There's no five percent. Maybe two percent is from Allah. Give me from the two percent, which is from Allah for sure. There we go. No no no. What I mean is two percent is two uh, percent error is there. Two percent error is there. Ninety-eight percent is correct in the Quran. That's okay. What I mean. That's but easier. Okay. Show me from the right. show me from the ninety percent. It's true. You, you, until now, each time I saw it, say to you, show me, we find that this is stupid. Not a single one you showed yeah, me until now, and you are the one who is choosing the verses, it turned to be stupid. I, I mean, how come you are the one who is choosing the best, and always they turn to be from the 2%, which is not from Allah, according to you? I mean, this is, this is a miracle. Can't you choose for me? 
something not from the two percent yeah. from the ninety percent my friend yeah. give me something truthfully okay, clear no. okay go ahead yeah okay okay the moment she started the quran the Messiah, uh, and, uh, and uh, alhamdulillah you see that teacher gives a very clear picture about who the creator is it says the word uh, the moment you think it is allah it's not allah so uh, it gives a very clear picture so we don't have to you know uh, we can't think we're not in the capacity of thinking like uh, who the creator is maybe no, nobody knows nobody so knows says, okay nobody knows who is the creator okay let us see who is the creator your god allah uh, uh, he have a shin mm -hmm. do you see the title of my video it says the uh, allah uh, the god with one leg who is the creator yeah. is it true that allah he have one shin what do you mean shin? Uh, Allah, yeah, Allah, Allah is, yeah. a, is a God of the shin. He have a shin. He have one leg. Like, do you know the cartoon we used to watch when we were kids about the captain who is an, uh, he's a parrot and he have one, one leg? I don't know what the, I forgot the name of the, I forgot the name. Huh? Just say Abdu, Abdu. As you always say, say Abdu. I'm Tony, I'm Tony. Tony Abdul, who care? I'm asking you now. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah have one shin? This is in chapter 68, verse number 42. I feel I didn't get the. It's in Arabic, you know. But get the the English. Is it Abdullah Yusuf Ali? What? Is it Abdullah Yusuf Ali uh, translation or something? Uh, Abdul Yusuf Ali. Abdul, 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 yeah. This is Abdul Yusuf Abdul Ali. Yusuf. Yeah. Yeah, this is Abdul Yusuf Ali, right? This is Abdul Yusuf Ali, no problem. This is the translation you like. Yeah. Here we go. It says, yeah. Allah will Allah yeah. will, will do striptease, he will show his shin. Hmm. Yeah, so what, so what does that mean? Why Allah? Why Allah? Why Allah have one why Allah have one shin? What happened? What do you think? What happened to Allah? Why he did he lost his shin? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't know exactly the other meaning, like it's uh, metaphorical. Huh? Metaphorical? Yeah. yeah. Well, what is metaphorical about it? Allah will show his shin. Yeah, maybe, we, maybe, maybe it's beyond our uh, understanding, maybe. Okay. Do Allah, do Allah, do Allah, do Allah. Do Allah has a foot? Do Allah has a foot? Let us start from the foot. Do Allah has a foot? No, no, can't be, can't be. Ah, okay. So Allah has a foot. a foot. So what? It's not a metaphorical. Then this is a physical foot and physical shin. Hey, the Prophet said that people will will be thrown into the hellfire, and it and it will say, "Are there more?" Yeah. Then, and uh, you know, quoting chapter five, verse number thirty, "Till Allah he put his foot over it." And then the, the the hell will say kati kati, which means enough enough. Okay, so Allah have a foot, Allah have hands. You can search right now in YouTube. You will find tons of videos made by Muslim sheikhs speaking about the magnificent, beautiful, nice, sexy foot of Allah. All right. I'm, I'm just telling you what the you know. Yeah. So yeah. so so yeah. you you Muslim believe Allah have hands, Allah have foot. Allah have a leg, Allah have eyes, Allah have five fingers. Uh, so, so now, so who, so, so who is, who is this Allah? Okay, is, is what? Yeah, maybe maybe it's it, it's something like you know when the thing is full, maybe he will stop the thing. Like you know, he will. That means he has so power that you know that it doesn't mean the real foot. You know. The way we think, we are humans, so we think in... Okay, that, let, us, know, let us see, so okay, let us, let us, so no problem, like, no problem, yeah. no problem. Let us see if this is what it says. Yeah. Okay, if we go and read in the yeah. hadith, I mean, all, all of us, your prophet is the one who knows what he's talking about, supposedly, right? There's no way that you know, you know what Allah means by his shin more than Muhammad, right? So anything... Uh, yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we, we have okay. to go and see what Muhammad said about it and if Muhammad says something then we you know yeah, will. Uh, uh, yeah, we will yeah, go by what he said all right all right this is the hadith 
as you see yeah. in the front of you, yes. it says here that they ask Muhammad, read with me carefully, are we going to see Allah, yeah. our Lord, in the day of resurrection? But this, So that's mean about seeing him, not about fiction or, you know, are we going to see Allah yeah. in the day of resurrection? He said, yes. Uh, uh, and yeah. he told them how easy it is going to yeah. be to see him. He said, do you have difficulty to see him when the sun is uh, in the moon in the sky, in a clear sky? They said, no. This is so you will see Allah. No difficulty. It's going to be very easy. And then he explained to them how they will see Allah. Read with me carefully. He said, yeah, okay. the, the, yeah. they say, do you know any sign which you can recognize him? How you recognize Allah? This is the way to recognize him. Remember, we are talking about seeing him, not metaphorically, seeing him. So, and Muhammad, he compares seeing him, seeing Allah to seeing the sun and the moon. And the sun and the moon are physical objects. They are not metaphorical. So, do you know any sign which you can yeah. recognize him? They said, the shin. So, Allah will uncover his shin. Uh, uh, where, uh, whereupon uh, every believer will prostrate before him. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So does it does it make any logic that uh, to show the sin and what? what why not? Him, why not? No. For, show himself, no. You see. Logic you see. I find it really. Are. I find it really strange. You are trying to insult Allah now. I'm really upset from you. You are saying does it make sense? For sure it makes sense, my friend. Because imagine. Okay. You see. What? Let us say there is some women. Uh, she have nice legs. And because she has nice legs, she is what? She is proud about them. So she want to show her legs, correct? Okay. Okay. So yeah. Allah, he have a very sexy legs, obviously. So Allah want to show you how beautiful he is, how sexy he is, and you know it. So he will show you his shin. And then you Muslims, you go crazy like, Takbir, Allahu Akbar, Takbir, Allahu Akbar. And then you start talking about the shin of Allah. Brother, did you see the shin of Allah? How beautiful it is. So you will see the shin of Allah and every, every Muslim will get so excited. I don't know if horny, but I mean, comparing with what a human being, because when you ask Muslims about why Allah promised us uh, women with a big vagina and big, uh, big bum, they say, oh, because this is what a human like. Okay, here we go. So Allah will show you what you like, what you like, a shin. And this is his shin this time, not the shin of a woman. So imagine if a shin of a woman is a beautiful, what about the shin of Allah? For sure, the shin of Allah is maybe, way more beautiful. Maybe, maybe, the, maybe the Arabic translation is given in a wrong way when you yeah. translate the thing. Or My friend, I am, like I am, a, I, 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 okay, I, I, I use Google uh, uh, translation always to translate uh, to Arabic, uh, you know, from Arabic. So come on, this is your translation now. This is your Muslim translation. In Arabic, it says clearly the word shin. So Allah will show his shin. The question is. Is the shin of Allah is physical? Obviously it is because Allah will uncover his shin and they were asking him about seeing Allah, not seeing the act of Allah, the work of Allah, the glory of Allah. He wa they were saying, are we going to see Allah? Read the hate for me again. Here we go. Are we going to see yeah. our Lord? What they will, what they what the question? Shall we see our Lord in the day of resurrection? He said, Do you have difficulty to see the sun and the moon? So Muhammad he described his God as a physical object, the same as the moon and the sun. He did not describe, says, Do you see love? Love is metaphorical. Do you see uh, 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 like uh, uh, he uh, missing somebody? This is metaphorical because this is feeling. You can describe it. He is talking about physical object, the sun and the moon. And then when they ask him, okay, how we will recognize him, he said, the shin. This is why you Muslims, you should say, you know, we Christian, we say hallelujah. You Muslim, you should say shenanuya. You know? Now, what is the, yeah, the meaning of hallelujah? It, yes, Allah is there, no? the word is there, no? hallelujah. Hallelujah? Yeah, the word is there, Allah is there, in the, the word is there, no? No. What hallelujah. No. Hallelujah. Allah, Allah is there, no? The word no, my friend, is there. this is a this is a word <laughs> mean. Well, listen, Abdul. This is a word mean. Praise God. So what? Where, where is Allah there? Uh, you got Allah is a shame. In order to find Allah there, so we, we have to say we have to say Shannonuya. We, we so have to say no, no. We don't have the same God. We don't have the same God. No, 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 no. We don't have the same God. Uh, you know, our God is a spirit. Your God is not a spirit. Our, you know, the, every the nature of our God is different. Your God is a crazy God. I mean, look at this. Look at this God. He have one shin. He have five fingers. And do you know that your God, Allah, His hands, both of them in the right side. How is it? What do you mean? What, what, what do you mean? What I mean? Your God, Allah, He have two hands, both of them in the right side. Yeah, 
right side of him, in his, his right shoulder. Show me, I want to see him. Okay. Hmm. Read the hadith, it says, both the right of hand, uh, right hand of Allah are right hands. And both of his hands are right hands. Is it, is it a sahih hadith? No, this is daif. No, it's, is it sahih or I can, I can see it? It is daif, it's daif, you know, it's obviously because even if I show you sahih, you will say it's daif written by a human. So we have to say anything we show you, it is da'if for you. Even though it says sahih, yeah, it says sahih. Here, look, sahih, what I will do now. Yeah. But for you, in two seconds from now, you will say, this is written by human. All right? So Allah have two hands, both of them in the right side. Let, let, let me let me help you to understand how Allah, your God, look like, my friend. You know, I, by the way, yeah, uh, I, I, I taught many yeah, artists in the world about the drawing. You know, I used to be a professor for art. Uh, uh, and I am the one who taught Picasso and uh, all the artists like Tony Play, Tony Player. I taught him to, to uh, George Bush. All of those artists, I taught them how to draw uh, 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 art. So this is your God, Allah. This is your God, Allah. He have two eyes, but he have no eyebrows. He have a mouth. We don't know if he have a neck, okay, 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 but he okay. have. Give me a description. Hold on, on hold on, now. hold on. Allah have a, Allah have a leg. Yeah. That's what we know. I'm not going to add things. It's not there. Allah have a shin. Uh -huh. All right, have a leg, and then here there is two hands in the right side of Allah, and that's it. This is your Allah. Okay, so this is a leg here. Let us let us highlight. The, this here. This is a leg. All right, let us make it in a different color so we yeah. can. So now at least, you know, you as a Muslim, if you see Allah somewhere in Sri Lanka, you recognize him. OK, so what is the first part? This is Allah. This is leg. Leg. OK. Or shin. Mm, OK. Yeah. OK, this is the magnificent, beautiful shin of Allah. Praise be to his shin. And Allah, he have two hands, both in the right side. In his right right side you see all of them they are they are right hands and each hand by the way has five fingers which is very unique i mean why yeah, allah, oh, yeah. why allah oh, have five the yeah hadith. yeah and the hadith it says he has okay in the hadith yeah. it says he has five fingers you know i'm so glad that you have five not you know like because that will make him octopus if you have more okay, okay. so uh, okay no no okay. don't say okay don't say okay i mean what kind yeah. of god does god man muhammad listen what kind of god does god is he is a shin he have a head in the top of the shin, and there is two hands attached to the shin. I mean, this is a crazy. What is this? This is Allah. Okay, okay, right. Sorry. Now, can you give me a description of your God exactly? The way how it looks and no, how it problem, looks. no problem. No problem. Me? No problem. No problem. No problem. When when one of the disciples asked Jesus, "Show us the Father. Show us the Father, the one who is our God." Show us him, or you know how he, what he, what he, what he, how he look like. He said to him, "I am with you all this time, and you did not recognize me." So, seeing Jesus, you are seeing God. God, He came to us. He humbled Himself in a, in a, in, a, in a form of a human being, and by seeing that a human being, we saw God. The Bible says that Jesus Sorry. is the visible image. Hold on, let me answer you. Jesus is the visible image okay. of the invisible God, and because God is so glorious to see the way He is. So he humbled himself so he can be seen by our eyes so we will not be destroyed. So this is what the Bible says about it. But this is your God. So my God, who he was Jesus in this earth in a form of a man. Your God okay, is, okay. A head, okay. is a head, is a, no, is a, is a head, is a watermelon, no, have two, is have two holes okay. in it. Is he powerful like God? Huh? Is he, is he powerful like God? Can he do anything what he want? Sure, he will go. He may, uh, just to show you that Jesus is so powerful, he can do. No, no, hold on, hold on. You ask me, you ask me a question. You ask me a question. Let me answer you. Look, look what Jesus did. He made your God Allah a shin. Who is the one who created the world according to Christians? Jesus. So Jesus made Allah shin. This is very powerful, my friend. I mean, how he got the idea to make such a such a stupid god, he, you know, like look like he cursed him maybe. So he said to him, "Be shin," and he was. So now you Muslim worship in a shin, 
And Jesus is laughing at you, saying, look at those crazy people. We gave them shin, still they worship it. We gave them a shin, have two hands, and both of it in the right side of his shoulder, still they worship the shin. Yeah, okay, there is a problem now. You see, uh, he says in one place, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. What do you mean, David? Well, he's saying because, self, because, because they are looking at him. Okay, not, okay, let me answer I'm, you. I can't do anything. No problem. I want. My friend. It's the God who is telling me to do. So okay. What is the difference? Can I answer you? Uh, you get me the question. No problem. Sure. Jesus, because the okay, Jews yeah. are speaking to him, they see who? They see a man, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this man. How, who are you? You know, they were saying, who are you? Like, wh why you are talking like this? He forgives sin. Uh, he, he, he break the Sabbath. He did something like, you know, who are you? He said to them, everything I do is from heaven. So he is telling them that, this is why he said, the Father is in me and I am in the Father. So you see a man in front of you, but the man, he can do nothing. Any, any human can do nothing. But God is in me is the one is doing this work. God in me. So I am God in a form of a... I am God, I am God in a form of a man and the man, he can do nothing of his own. Everything I have is given to me from the Father. The second you say to a father to the Jews, you are talking about God in heaven. So he said, this is why Jesus says, I am not from here. I am from above. What above? Why Jesus from above, you think? Unless he is God. Is your prophet Muhammad from above? Is your prophet is, is your, came from above? Because, you know, we don't know where our speech were before. What? Even you also don't know where, where the, you, 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 you existing before you were born here. You, nobody knows. It's only the explanation which gives in the scriptures. Are you are so you, you are Hindu now? You are Hindu. Yeah. You believe you believe in uh, Hinduism now. This is not Islam. Islam that Allah He created you from a congealed blood and then He made the congealed blood uh, in stages, which is very funny. So don't tell me now you you are a Hindu. You believe you used to be a you used to be a cow and then you became a monkey. Don't say that. People will laugh at you. No, 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 no. Hmm. no, no, no. What I mean was. We even I myself I don't know before I am now fifty three years old hmm. maybe fifty four years before I don't know where I was I have no well, have by the way by the way you are in a perfect so you are in, you, you are now in a perfect yeah. age to get married from six years old girl you know that right your prophet he was fifty four years old when he got in, he got married from Aisha very beautiful age good for you my friend don't tell me maybe maybe yeah, maybe I don't go by maybe we don't go by maybe we, we don't go by maybe my God he made your God a shin. And you Muslims still worship him. And this is why you will stand in the front of the Messiah in the judgment day. And the angels will be laughing at you. Even though you will go to hell, you will say, you crazy people, you worship this? This? A shin? At least worship a chair. You know what? Worship a cow. It's more perfect. A shin with two hands in the right, at right side. How you worship a shin? Yeah. Right. Okay. I okay. I admit that. Okay. Then I just want to shift the thing into some other thing. Mm. You always uh, you always criticizing saying that uh, prophet was you know behind the women. Can you just explain why you are telling like that? Always you are mocking at the prophet like that, telling you are behind going behind women and women, women, women promoting women. You, you are speaking. You are speaking why, so why fast. Like so what the question is? I say always the prophet is after women. Yeah, yeah. Well, always, you know, fond of women. Okay, okay. Let me let, let me let me let me ask you, Muhammad. Yeah. What is the purpose of the Quran? Yeah. What is the purpose of the Quran? What is the purpose of that? What is the purpose of the Quran? Why Allah is in the Quran? The Quran is to guide the. It's uh, you know. Okay. No, actually, the Quran, you know, it, it's a book of history. Book of science, hmm. book of science, Oof. book of warning. Oh. You know, it's a book of you know everything. You know, it's a, it's a mix. So, uh, no, it's not okay, like we will no, talk about the book of history. My friend, a second ago we spoke about science. Quran, Quran, we spoke about science. Quran fail. We spoke about even history is stupid. But now let's go. You said the Quran is a book of guidance. Okay, what does verse have to do with guidance? Yeah. Listen, mm -hmm. I want you to read this verse for me. Chapter thirty-three, verse number fifty. What does verse have to do with guidance? Do you tell me? Allah, yeah, he made a verse. Can... Allah, he made a book, a book of guidance. Okay, Allah is saying to Muhammad, "O oh Prophet, we made yeah. ruffle for thee, the wives whom you has paced their dower." Don't you think this is stupid? The guy is already sleeping with the wives for the last century, and now you are telling him their wives are lawful for you. They are wives already. Hey, let me. He wants to make sure that uh, you know double to make it to assure that. 
What do you mean to make it? The guy already is married and made lawful for you, the wives you, you know, what does this mean? And then, okay, then, and those whom your right hand possess, the, the guy is sleeping with them already, so he was doing that without permission from Allah, because he just get, he just get the permission, and then it says, and uh, out of prisoner yeah. of war, okay, but Mary the cop, she was not a prisoner of war, so why he was sleeping with her? He's breaking the command of his God, and then, Allah assigned to you, Allah assigned oh. the prisoner of war for Muhammad. The purpose of the prisoner of war is to rape them, according to Muhammad. Okay, and now, and the daughter of your paternal uncle, what does it have to do with God? And then, the, and, the, and, and the daughter of your aunts, and the daughters of your uh, uh, maternal uncle, and uh, aunts, and uh, who is uh, migrated to from Mecca to etc. And then, any believing woman to dictate herself to the Prophet so he can if her. What does this have to do with guidance? What do you mean the last one? When you any believing one? What, yes, what you, it says. Wa, you, wa, yes, it says. Wa imra'a. It says. Wa imra'a mu'mina wa havet nafsa halin nabi in arad al nabiyu an yastankuha khalisat al laka min dun al mu'minin. So he said to him, any woman she wanna take off her panty for the prophet, so he can f her. What this have to do with God? And this is a privilege only for the Prophet. What this have to do with guidance? Why Allah making a privilege for the penis of your Prophet? Go ahead, I'm listening. Okay, are there any hadiths related to that? Somebody came to the Prophet? The way it says? Hmm. Some, she, did somebody really come to the yeah, Prophet? She, yeah, there's a, there's a hadith about a woman. About a, this is why Muhammad, there's women, they start coming to him. They are ugly. He don't like them. So he said, oh, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, he, he didn't want her. But he made a verse already, any woman she can offer herself, and he's in trouble. And look what he did. Right away, Allah, he sent him a verse after that, when when, when old uh, women, with my respect to old women, uh, they start coming, asking Muhammad to sleep with them because they want uh, a monthly salary. The second Muhammad, he, he sleep with you, you will have a house, you will have money, you will have food. So after the women they start coming and those women most of them they are old and they are just looking for security nobody is interested in muhammad to sleep with him muhammad he make a verse saying that allah told him that you may differ in the turn look in the front of my house like i have a thousand women they want to sleep with me and now at this i can sleep with all of those especially the ugly one and the old ones hello so what i do i make a verse claiming that allah hold on hold on i make a verse claiming that allah told me that I can choose as I wish from those thousands of women who want to sleep with me. What kind of God is this God? So what does the tafsir say about that? Tafsir about that verse? No problem. Let us go to the tafsir. That's a that's a good that's a good point, brother. That's a good point, brother. Let us go to the tafsir. Okay, we will go to the tafsir. No problem. Uh, this is a chapter thirty-three, verse number fifty. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. You you want a Jalalain? Okay, he asked for a Jalalain, so we have to yeah, go yeah. now by a Jalalain, no problem. Go ahead, D give me a second, I will show it to you on the screen. Remember, you are the one yes. who asked for a Jalalain, not me, so you cannot complain later and say I don't accept yeah. it. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, let us see a Jalalain. Whatever a Jalalain says, we will take it, no problem. <clears throat> Here we go. This is a Jalalain, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. Yeah, okay. Okay. It says here, you can see the screen? Okay. You, yeah, you, may, you, 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 you may postpone concerning which with whoever of them, which nearly your wives, from those you turn in intimacy. For intimacy and concert embracing conjecuity, whomever you wish to them to come into her as for whomever you may desire uh, uh, whom you have set aside muhammad he put in a woman aside you 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 set aside you come here to my bed you uh this is ugly take her you know you come there uh, next year next year you next year okay so it's it's a fraud he made a verse saying that those women who he, they want to offer themselves they are welcome and when the ugly one they start coming he says oh the ugly one listen okay this one i choose allah he gave me an opportunity to choose brother i choose whatever i wish from them i may differ i may postpone postpone why they are chicken are we talking about a human so imagine there's imagine you are a prophet of god your god allah told you 
any woman she want to take off her panty for you she is okay she don't even need to marry you just yes thank you which means you f her okay and now you go your sister she go to the prophet and she is excited hold on hold on she is excited to jump in the bed of the prophet and then the prophet he, he unveil her oh she is ugly oh god no, i don't want to see her so okay allah he told me i can postpone i mean what is this isn't it obvious that this is not from god Explain to me why your prophet is posting pawn and choosing some and refusing some. Explain to me. I'm listening. No, actually, maybe the thing was during those periods that they were they were war, right? They were fightings and killings and all. And my friend, my friend, this is not about war now. This is about women. My friend, what what wars? What hold on? This is uh, this is the privilege for the prophet. The prophet even don't go to war. He sat in his bedroom playing with his boogers. So you're a prophet making verses, any woman she can give herself. And then women, they start coming to his door. And down the prophet, he'll start looking, a bunch of them, they are ugly. So he said, oh Allah, he told me, you can postpone uh, 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 anyone you want of those who you want. No, what? No, where does it say they're ugly and he didn't choose and just read it? Read it. it says, yes, yeah, it's it in says? front of you. He, he was given the choice to respect uh, uh, after it had been obligatory so the first verse was obligatory any woman she gave herself he have to stay with her now so but now he been given opportunity not to make it obligatory so any woman he chose it's up to him the women he like her he, he go in the bed if you are old you don't look good you know I don't want you because Allah gave me the right to do so so what is this and why why what this have to do with religion and what this have to do with God and what this have to do with guidance Okay, is it, a, is it a special permission given to the Prophet or how it is? Yeah, is it a general thing? No, it says this is a privilege. No, it says this is a privilege for the Prophet. You, you know how to read English, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. does it say here, let us see. Does it say that this is a privilege to thee? Here we go. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I can't hear you. Okay, does it, does it say, does it say this is a privilege to thee? Oh, yeah, yeah, he was given the choice. That is, he was given a choice. No, it's not. Privilege. No, it says a privilege the only to thee. It is only to thee. All of this is only to thee, not for the believer. Read it. Only to, only to thee, not for the believer. Okay, why Allah making a special book? Because now we have a new book. It's called Quran of Muhammad about the penis of Muhammad. So Allah making a special book called the penis Quran for the penis of, of the Prophet. And now he is making sexual verses just to satisfy the needs of the penis of the prophet. Yeah. Okay. You know, okay, it's, no, by the way, no, by, no, by the way, Muhammad. The by the way, Muhammad. I'm thinking to be. I'm thinking to work as a prophet a part time, because look, I will make a verse to my followers, saying to them, Allah told me any one of you want to give herself to me, so we can play a boom boom uh, with me. And then women they start coming, and not only that, you know, I make a, I make a, by mistake, I make the Arab. I says any Arab woman she like to give herself to me, and then I say, oh, I said Arab, I want, I don't want only Arab, I want black women, I want Asian women, I want women from everywhere. I mean, what, why? I, so I make a verse after it says, oh, but Allah says Arab plus plus Asian plus uh, black plus. I mean, what is this? Isn't it obvious that this is not from God? Yeah, okay, now there's another thing. Now, I heard you were talking about some privileges given to the Prophet earlier. I couldn't, I was not that sure about that. My friend, my Can friend, don't me? jump, don't jump about some privileges. It's in front of you. Let us finish this one. Why Allah giving the privilege for Muhammad penis? Yeah, maybe again, it's during that period, maybe according to the necessity, maybe that this thing was revealed. Maybe. What maybe, maybe? Um, it's it obvious, it's obvious. I'm asking you, don't tell me maybe, maybe, I want an answer. What does this have to do with God? Why does God is so worried about Muhammad's private part? To the point he makes verses only about his private part. He can go where? My friend, don't, don't force me to draw a picture now because this would be embarrassing, you know? This is about a penis and Allah is telling Muhammad where he can park his penis. In the top of that, any woman she wish the prophet to park his penis in her garage, she is welcome. Then women, they lined up 
to host the penis of the prophet then the prophet he finds some of those women they are not good looking which means his penis will park in a very scary place maybe very hairy so he said oh Allah just told me I can park the penis wherever I wish and I can post pawn upon any private part this is what the verse is saying yeah that verse yeah I can see yeah it says hey can you give me some other some uh, just some more examples like is there any other religious given to the prophet or maybe then it is a wrong this thing my friend my friend what 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 what, what maybe, 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 maybe I want to answer don't give me give me maybe, maybe I'm, I just told you something very important what kind of God he make verses saying this is your penis we give you the right to park it here and there and there and then I make another verse to be sure that you park your penis only where you wish. How this is can be from maybe God? It's not, uh, you know, it's, again, it's maybe a human uh, human thing, you know. Again, maybe it's a human thing. But what do you mean? Human maybe, thing, maybe, you know? maybe, maybe. What do you mean? It's a human thing. Explain to me. Yeah, because you know, uh, because uh, you know, all these things, you know, it can't uh, be appropriate for the for a God, you know, to give advice like that. Maybe the, the human, they, you know, like. Uh, because what I know is the Quran says that uh, uh, woe to the people who wrote uh, things from their own head and told that it's from them. Oh, so, so you are they, saying now this verse? You are saying this verse is not written. That this is not this is not from Allah. Somebody wrote it, right? No, no. The Quran says very clearly, woe to the people who wrote from their own hand mm. and told it from Allah. Mm. That means you know, you know. They will be destroyed, you know, whoever who wrote the thing, saying that it's from Allah, just, they just insert it into the... Okay, so what does that mean? I'm, I'm not getting you. Are you saying that this verse from Allah or not? No, in that case, you can't do, you can't, uh, you can't rely on any scripture in the world, you know, in the world. Uh, this is not the question, my friend. Can you give me, can, can, we, can, we, can, we, can we be honest for a second? I'm asking you a direct question. I want direct answer. Is this verse from Allah or not? No, if it is, if this verse says like promoting something like that, it can't be from uh, a God. Thank you very much, guys. This is cannot be from God. God. This is cannot be from God. Uh, obviously, it's obviously this is from the devil. Now the question is, how this is cannot be from Allah when the Quran says? You just told me that if somebody tried to write something, Allah will will will. Uh, is it the Quran says in different verse that if Shaitan he throws something into the word of Allah, Allah will delete it. Huh? Is it regarding the satanic verses you are telling? Is it about the satanic verses you are telling? You know, the Quran, the Quran, chapter 22 says, whatever shaitan he yeah. throw in the book, in the Quran, Allah will delete it. How come Allah did not delete those verses? Yeah, the thing is later when they when they you know when the thing went to the wrong person you know like Uthman you know who read the, who wrote the Quran who were against the Prophet you know the Umayyads hmm. they were against the Prophet right and so when they went maybe they put the thing inside and you know sort of like all okay, the okay but this is mean Allah who, no problem so Uthman God. okay so you are saying Uthman maybe is the one who bought those verses no problem Uthman is a bad boy I know him he used to he used to work with me so Uthman he put bad words bad Quran and now you Muslim reading the book of Uthman, call it Holy Quran and you kiss it. But look, this is mean Allah is a fraud too, because now you are saying maybe this verse too is written by Uthman too. Maybe this is not from Allah. Yeah. Never we did mess send the messenger, but Shaitan he threw in his desire. So that's mean we can say any verse in the Quran, it's from the devil because there is no assurance that the Quran is the book of God. This is what you are saying to me. No, no, whatever is good, you know, like uh, with what is what you can accept. It's uh, from my God. friend. I spent, I spent, I spent with you the, the last, the, the last six, listen, Muhammad, the last but 60 no, minutes, the last 60 minutes, I'm talking to you. Uh, you did not find me one thing in the Quran you accept. Each time you show me something, it turned to me, you don't accept it. So when, when we are going to find something we accept, are we going to reach that point to find that at least a verse we can accept? Okay, this is my change to you. Can you yeah. name for me a yeah. chapter in the Quran which you accept? A chapter, any chapter? Yeah, Alhamdulillah Surah. Which one? The first Surah. It shows that the one and only God, you know, Alhamdulillah. Which Surah, which Surah? The first Surah. Which one? Surah Fatiha. 
Al Fatiha. Guys, okay. So now, you, okay, okay. I want, but I want you to promise me. I want you to promise me. I want you, uh, uh, Muhammad. Muhammad. I want you to promise me. After five minutes, you will not say this is not from Allah. Do you promise me? No, no, maybe I will say okay. wrong interpretation of Okay, you are the I one who chose the surah. You tell me how stupid the surah is. How Allah he say in the name of Allah if he is the one is talking. Here we go. You are the one who chose this one who said this one is perfect. There's no problem with it. Okay. Allah is talking. How Allah he says in the name of Allah. Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm a Christian prince yes. and I am going to say to you in the name of a Christian prince, I say to you this. I mean, isn't it this is the most stupid statement? How Allah is talking and then he say in the name of Allah. No, no, it says that to tell the Prophet that in the Prophet is saying in the name of Allah and then so it's, it's someone No, 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 don't add Allah words to the Quran. You see, we yes. are fighting adding words to the Quran. Do you see it says tell the Prophet? It doesn't say that. The first verse, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. Okay, who is talking Allah? How Allah he say in the name of Allah? Ah, uh, you mean the cool word is not there? That's not cool. That is where it says so call, no, 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 no. Where it says call, show me. Call means say. Okay. Where it says call, are you adding words to the Quran now? No, no, I'm not adding. Maybe that's that's missing there. And then, then ah, it's, it's, missing, it's missing. It's missing. But are you to the are you to the one you promised me? Are you to the one who promised me that you will not say that this chapter have a problem with it? Now you are saying it's missing. That means corrupted. So even the one you choose. To prove to me the most perfect chapter in the Quran, now in a, after not less than a minute from start talking about it, you agreed that obviously there's something missing there. The word Qul, it is not there. So somebody took it, but you are the one who chose these verses to prove to me that this is the perfect verse in the Quran. Yeah, and it says Allah Samad, you know, the way you know, Don't change the topic. The Don't change the topic. Way. Why? Why yeah. there is the words missing? You just said there's words there are missing, and you are the one who choose for me. I asked you, can you please choose for me a perfect verse in the Quran? Christian prince cannot complain about it. Okay, you said to me, okay, Al Fatiha, Al Fatiha. So okay, and I said to you, just to remind you, I said, do you promise me that after five minutes from now you will not say there's a problem with it? You said yes, I promise you. But you. You broke your promise less than yeah, yeah. less than 30 seconds after yeah, you said no, there's no, a no, word no, missing. No, no, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. We are not done. We are not done. We are not done. Allah he just said, Allah he just said, the most gracious, most merciful, right? In verse number one. Sorry? Allah in verse number one he says the most the gracious most yeah, merciful yeah. right okay why he saying the same after two after after one line i mean what's wrong with this guy he just said the most merciful most gracious why he repeating the same again explain to me is your god no, the no, same no, as no, is your is your god is the same no, as my grand grand grandma no, who go to the neighbor and start gossiping what is this is it a go this is a gossip this is a gossip this is a guy who have nothing to say start trying to fill it up like making arabic music let me make one uh praise be to allah who his name is Billa. In Italy, they call him macaroni. In my country, I call him pepperoni. Praise be to Allah. His name is Doloni. La 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 What is this? He's repeating himself. What? What? No, no, no. You know, this guy is repeating himself twice in the same line. God say that uh, I'm the one and only, I'm, uh, I'm same like your God, why should he say this? No, this is not the same. He is saying, okay. he just said, most gracious, most merciful. And then he repeat the same sentence after a few words. What is the point? You just said already that. Are you stupid repeating yourself like a crazy? This is a Peroni God. This is not God. This is a God wearing papayon and he is he think that he have a voice. He will sing like a frog in my backyard. I keep saying to him to, to stop the guy. This, uh, let me tell you about this frog. The second I want to watch a TV, this frog, he start singing. Walk, 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 walk. I'm crazy, man. This guy is really crazy. And then the only way to, 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 to stop him, I read for him Quran. The guy, he disappear, man. He don't want to hear it. Even the frog is getting angry from the Quran. Even though I'm saying to him, no, I'm reading, yeah, do you know why he get angry? Because I, 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 I read for him the verse where it says, any any frog woman, she want to give herself to the prophet so he can F her. So he get jealous, he leave. Because he is after the, the female. That's why he's singing. So, you, you know, when I say to you, show me something solid, 
something from the Quran you fail until now not a single verse in the Quran you gave me of your choice and you did not say there's a problem there is missing words somebody add words you name it yeah okay CP uh, now okay I want to uh, tell you you see the thing is as I told at the beginning I'm on the fence Okay, I'm on the My fence. friend, we are not, we are not, in, we are not fighting. We are having a conversation. Isn't it me who invite you for coffee? No, 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 no. no, no. no I am on the, I am on the fence side only. You say I'm having problems because, okay, can you explain to me about the, about the Zainab's thing exactly with the tafsir to make me sure that what happened in the, what is that uh, is okay. Is it a thing? No problem. Which you can uh, no problem. Okay, thank yeah. you, Zaid. Let me give you the reference. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, along with the tafsir and everything, you know, the full detailed thing, you know, detailed thing. Yeah, no problem. I want to visit you in Sri Lanka, man. In the Quran. Yeah. Because uh, because I wanna I wanna get some Sri Lankan tea. Sri Lankan tea, yes, you are very famous for that. Yeah, they have nice Worldwide. tea there, you know, in Sri Lanka. By the way, in Sri Lanka, there's a lot of Sri Lankan people. Yeah. Which is amazing. I mean, how I know that? I, I learned this from the Quran. You believe it? Okay. This is okay. This is. Let us go. This is Tafsir uh, Al Qurtubi. All right. Give me the Quranic verse, which is related to that first. The Quranic verse. Then we let us go to the Tafsir. Oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, I, you know, I built the music by mistake. I apologize. Okay. The Quranic verse. Yeah, the okay. Quran. Quranic verse. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here we go, the Quranic verse in the front of you with the number. Chapter 33, verse number 37. Uh, still didn't appear, still didn't come. Yeah, chapter Just 33, me, chapter yeah. 33, verse number 37. Didn't come still. Yeah, give, me, give me a second, see. Give you what? Yeah, give me a second, you know. It, it, Oh, yeah, I'll give you a second. Okay, take, take a second. I will give you a century. For those who they are new in our channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are old in our channel, don't forget to unsubscribe. Because Allah will give you double blessing if you unsubscribe from a Christian prince because you don't like him. Practice it. You will see that the blessing will come to you. Still it didn't come. I don't know why you are strong with Okay. All right. Be, my friend, I think I think it's not coming to you because you forgot to say inshallah. Did you say inshallah? Yeah, if I say inshallah, definitely it will come. Okay. So right you there, you need to say inshallah. Okay. okay. So now, so now what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Show you the, you said show me, show you the interpretation. Yeah, just do it in their heart. What does it mean in their heart? In their heart, in his, in their heart means in, in whose heart? What? In, what? In I don't understand. Uh, what? What? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't understand you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, 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 okay let us go let us go to the interpretation let us go to the let us go to the interpretation hold on let us go to the oh, hold on hold on this is the inter, this is the interpretation and this is a tafsir al qurtubi all right so let us see what what is what it says here um it says here um, Interpretation you are talking about Al-Qurtubi. Al-Qurtubi, Tafsir Al-Qurtubi, yeah. It says here uh, mm. that the Prophet he came to Muhammad, ثم أنه عليه السلام أتى زيدا يوما يطلبه فأبصر زينب قائمة قائمة كانت بيضاء جميلة جسيمة من أتم نساء قريش. Let us translate. So the Prophet once he came to uh, seek Zayd in his house and he found his wife yeah. Zainab standing up. Yeah. And she was big and beautiful, very fat. You know, at that time they like fat women. Excuse my language with the word fat, but I'm just describing what it says. Yeah. So she is big and fat, and that makes her so. And she's white, very white. And the Arab they have obsession with the three things: white women, and yeah. fat women, and tall women. You know, so she have everything yeah. a man he want. She is big, 
she is white she is uh, uh, fat very sexy so min atam min nisa'i quraish from the most beautiful women of quraish describing her as the most beautiful women of quraish fahawiha fahawiha you know what hawiha mean he fell in love with her okay no this uh, yeah but it is facing facing her huh yeah actually you know what let, 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 let me let me open it in google translation so you can you, we can uh, click at uh, google translate you know so you can read with me even google yeah. translation better than the arabic thing and it's still i will i will show the arabic in the same time so what it says here yeah. that your prophet he went to visit yeah. his own son uh, zaid son by adoption and then when he <laughs> when he went there he found zainab she was wearing uh, uh, she was standing up yeah and uh, she's so beautiful yeah. and so hot man i don't know if this has happened to you you know once i went to visit my own son and man his wife she was so hot so hot so hot unbelievable <laughs> me, you joking, me. Huh? Uh, no i'm not joking i, 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 I no i i, I sent my uh, son to sri lanka to study there so i can stay with the wife brother <laughs> hello what are you joking this is not just a true story and this is make me qualified to be a prophet a muslim prophet because this is the qualification to be a prophet according to Muslims. So here we go. The okay, guy. Okay, here we go. I will I will click Google Translation. In the front of your eyes. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it says here. This is Al Qurtubi. Al Qurtubi. Al Qurtubi. Hold on. Al Qurtubi. Okay. Let's see where it says he went. Okay. All right. Maybe the Google translation is naive. Yeah, no, Google translation will help us to show you. For me, I do not need. I can read for you in Arabic, and you know that's that's it. You know, I do not need. Uh, uh, I do not need all of this. But let us see where it says that. Uh, give me a second, please. In Arabic, here it was saying. All right. Uh, you know, you are reading in Arabic. Page one seventy-two. Hold on. To me in Arabic. Hold on, my friend. Then go for English. Do it in Arabic, but you don't know Arabic. No, no, I just want to, you know, I want to get something. Just okay, here we go. It says here, فأبص, فأبص 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 I saw you this, that she was beautiful and she is big and fat. And he fell in love with her. And then she, he said, وقال, Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. So Zainab, she heard, the, the, his praise, is flirting, is flirting with her. So she mentioned that to her husband Zaid. And then Zaid is Fafatina, which means like, uh oh, bingo, you know. So he went to the Prophet and he told him, oh, you know what? I want to divorce her. She hurt me. She, uh, you know, she have a bad tongue. She is so proud and arrogant. And then the Prophet said to him, No man, no man, hold your wife on you, man. Don't do that, man. And look at the Prophet. I mean, this guy a five minute ago was a flirting with the wife of this husband, and now he is saying to him, "Keep your wife for you." Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. So what we would do now? What? Okay. What kind of a prophet he is? Yeah, then you mean to say after that only the girls came or what? Read with me carefully. Here we go. This is after. Google Translation. This is Google Translation. Okay. Here it says just to confirm yeah. what we are saying. Uh, okay. Page number 172, okay. Um. See, here the Prophet, peace be upon him, he come to Zaid one day to ask for it for, for the husband. And, Zain, and he saw Zainab standing. She was so beautiful and white and fat. I can see the, I can see the You can see what? I can't see the translation. Why well, you cannot see it? I can't see it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, she no, was okay. beautiful and fat, who in the most complete and beauty between the women of Quraysh. So the, the, even the Muslim they agree that this is why Muhammad wanted to sleep with her. She was the most beautiful woman, especially she is so fat, and that means a lot of uh, you know uh, uh, you know a blessing for him there. He like uh, uh, be, you know like like meat you know. 
So he uh, ventured, ventured and uh, say glory be to Allah, my heart, my heart, bingo, bingo. Okay, so this is your prophet became Romeo and she became a Juliet, but the woman she is married and he is a flirting with his own son wife. And look, and then Zainab, she heard what he said and she told her husband. What do you think? And not only that, after they say, after they say that, the story is not over yet. You know, it says here that he, when he went to see her uh, and after he, he fell in love with her, you know, uh, uh, he, Muhammad, he, uh, uh, this is like different report that Muhammad, he went there and Allah, he sent wind and the wind left the clothes or the curtain of Zainab in her home. And he saw her, which means he saw her yeah. saw nakedness or saw his her body. So he fell on her, you know, and and you know, and Zainab she knew that she fell in his heart. The translation here is stupid. So it says here that Muhammad he went to his own son wife and he Allah you see brother, this is a miracle. I go to my son and then Allah he sent wind. See the wind did not happen by itself, it's a miracle from Allah. And the funny the Christian they say the prophet have no miracles. Here we go. He go to his own son wife. There's no wind. There's no fan is on. There's no air condition. And bingo. You know, amazing miracle. Beautiful miracle. Allah, he sent wind from the middle of nowhere. And by the way, this is different from break wind. Break wind is like, you know, people fart. So because Christian, they might say, oh, maybe somebody break wind or something. No, this is a true miracle. Allah, he made the wind happen. And what is the purpose of this wind? What do you think? What is the purpose of this wind, uh, my friend Muhammad? Why Allah He sent the wind? No, no, I'm asking you. Don't tell me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why Allah He sent the wind? Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. No, don't listen. I want an answer. Why Allah He sent the wind? I don't hear you. What? What? I don't understand what you are saying. It's a It's what? At that moment, the wind came. Okay, but why the wind? I know he is inside the house. How the wind is going inside the house? Isn't it? This is a miracle. And those Christians, they say that there is no miracle in Islam lying to us? Yeah, okay, say right, okay, the wind, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah and then... Uh, so Allah, can, no, no, yeah, don't okay. go, I, wa I want to focus on this miracle. That's an yeah. amazing miracle, this beautiful miracle. You know, I want this miracle to happen to me. I want to go to visit some women, uh, okay, so and they are wearing okay. wearing short, uh, long skirts, so yes, then Allah, the God Allah, the Shin God, He will send wind, and maybe rain will make him wet. That would be even nicer. All of this inside the house. And what all of this for? Just to make the prophet see the panty of his own son, wife, in her house. Did you notice what's happening here? Allah, he made the wind come, brother. Allah, he sent the wind. And he left the clothes. And then the prophet, he looked at her drum and he says, wow. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Prophet, when he saw that, he says, he starts like saying, Oh, mommy, oh, mommy, mommy, blue, oh, mommy, blue. To be honest, it was red, the panty. Oh, mommy, oh, mommy, mommy, red, oh, mommy, red. And like, wow, man, I cannot wait. Praise be to Allah. And he started flirting with the wife. Allah, he sent the wind. This is a miracle. And the Christians, they say the Prophet has zero miracle. And not only that. Look, I will show you a bigger miracle, bigger, uh, because, you know, size doesn't matter, right? So it says, Zainab, she said, that each time her husband, he tried to sleep with her, Allah, he make his penis swell. What do you think about this miracle? Read carefully. Mm -hmm. It says here, وَقَالَ الْحَسَنَ وَعَائِشَ blah, 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 blah. أمسى حسن أنا عائشة, they said, أنه أمسى زيد فَأَوَى إِلَى فِرَاشِهِ قَالَتْ زَيْنَبْ زَيْنَبْ وَلَمْ يَسْتَطَعْنِي زَيْدْ Translation Zayd, he went to the bed after Muhammad, he flirted with the wife 
Zainab, Zay, uh, Zayd, he came to the bed. They want to do like you know, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about, you know, <laughs> like you know, like stuff, like bad stuff, boy, bad boy, you know. So he went to the bed of his wife and like, uh -huh, I take off your clothes, blah 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 blah. The wife, okay, took off her clothes and then she said, "Walam yastata ni Zayd." I will highlight that word for you. He could not do it. And then Zayd, she says, "Waman tana aminhu ghira ma manahu Allah minni." All right. So. And then she continued, and, and, and he could not do it. He wanna do it. Like she, okay, now she took off her panty. Zayda, Zayd is a horny. And they're like, there again, there again, there again. And nothing is working. Like, eh, la, 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 Nothing is working. He took Viagra, nothing is working. He took aspirin, nothing is working. He took Corona the drugs, it is not working. Nothing is not working. And then Zayd, she said, Zaynab, she said, and nothing make him stop from doing it except Allah, miracle. And then look what she said. And according to some report, it says, in Zayd and Tawarra Madarika Minhu, that Zayd his penis is swell each time he tried to get a close to her. What do you think about this miracle? Um, it looks like a miracle only. What do you know? Like a Listen, Zayd, Zayd, this is a real miracle. Zayd, he want to have sex with his wife, and now after the Prophet, he flirt with the wife. And obviously, Allah. If Muhammad he flirt with your wife, your penis will swear. Look, it says in Zayd and Tawarra Madalika Minu Hina Arada and Yakruba. Zayd, when he tried to get close to her, Allah he made his penis swell. Mm -hmm. hmm. So what do you say? Isn't it a, isn't it a beautiful miracle? This miracle brother? You know, like imagine 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 I am, imagine I am a prophet. Now what is the connection between the between the verse and the read, 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 the even read, read the, the, Muhammad, read, even in the Google translation, it says, in some account, it says that Zayd swelled, swelled when he get to try to get close to her. The translation here is stupid. They are talking about yeah. his penis. So penis of Zayd swelled. How we can explain such an amazing miracle? You know, like Jesus was making the blind see. He made the one who cannot walk, walk. He raised people from death. Muhammad, he make your penis as well. I mean, this is an amazing miracle. This is so beautiful, actually. And this is very, this is very um, powerful, man. No wonder all Muslims, they fear the Prophet, because if you, if he get upset from you, the first thing he would do, he will make your penis as well. And I don't want that to happen, unless yeah, you are, okay, okay. unless you care for the size, because that will make it bigger. Huh? Now, is it mentioned in the other, other uh, interpretation also the same thing? What? Is it mentioned the same thing in the other interpretations? Wait, where it says? It says that the God, he made somebody a penis as well? No, no, yeah, whatever the story now you are telling. Yeah. Is it uh, written in uh, Jalalain and uh, uh, what do you call the other, other interpretation? Yeah, yeah, there's, the, those, those, stories are, those stories are all over the place, you know, they are copying from each other, obviously. But this way it says that Allah, he made the penis of this uh, husband. Swell, why Allah will make the penis of a husband swell, but not the one who flirt with the wife who is not the husband? I mean, does it make sense? What do you think? I mean, I am the husband and I want to sleep with my wife and Muhammad, he like my wife. And then Allah, he make my penis swell, not the prophet. Shouldn't Allah punish the prophet for he is uh, wishing to have a, a woman. She is not his wife. I mean, how come Allah is punishing the penis of the husband? She is lawful for him. Yeah, Allah. Okay, Allah. He wanted Zainab to be his wife. Okay, Allah. He wanted Zainab to be his wife. What is the business of Allah? The guy is already married. What's your business, Muhammad? He have already many wives, and why he is hurting the penis of the guy, my friend? Imagine you are closing the door of your van, and Allah, He closed the door of the van over your penis. Ouch! And that is to prevent you from having sex with Zainab. So let us imagine this, you are Zayd, Zainab in the van, you are, you, you are closing the door of the van, Allah, he made the door in magical way, miracle, close the door of the van over your penis and the purpose, so you will not be able to have sex with your wife Zainab. I mean, how in the world this is happening? Why Allah is making the penis of the husband swell, not the penis of the one who is unlawfully going after the women. She is not his wife. Do you have a van, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have, have a van, van okay, yeah. watch the door from now on, okay? If you have a van. Because you never know, Allah, he might yeah. do it to you. Uh -huh. So what okay. do you say now? Okay, now see, now, now after that, only the, the verse came. In the Quran, how does it work? 
My friend, uh, my friend, uh, uh, you see, I, I don't know if you're listening, uh, my friend, I don't know if you're listening or not. Are you really convinced that Muhammad is a prophet after you? This is your Muslims. If this is the Muslims who worship Muhammad saying this about Muhammad, how about the enemy? Remember, those are filtered stories, which Muslims, they see nothing wrong with it. It's amazing. So beautiful. It's a miracle. Allah make the penis of the husband as well. So if this is what the Muslims, they write about their prophet, what the enemy will write. And now I'm going to ask you, do you really believe Muhammad is a prophet after all what I showed you? No, no, whatever the thing you told, I don't believe it can't be from a prophet. Okay. Okay, there is no, but now, is no doubt about Okay, that. so now what is the conclusion? What is the conclusion? What, what is the, uh, my friend? Because I know even the other thing, see, can you explain the, 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 the story about the Mary, like of the, how it, what is the verse, and just to, only those two I want, you know. My, fr my, my friend, my friend, that, 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 because we are jumping like monkeys that. from place to place. Now, as long as this cannot be from yeah. a prophet, are you really convinced that Muhammad is a prophet? Yeah, according to the hadith, no, I am not convinced. According to the hadith. Well, the Quran. What about the Quran? Because the Quran. Thing, yeah. isn't, it, isn't it this verse in the Quran is disgusting? Allah is saying to Muhammad, "Why you are training a man who is married to his wife? Keep your wife when Allah He told you, and He He said to you, why you are hiding what is your heart in your heart? I mean, what kind of God He is encouraging a man to go after a woman she is married to his own son? And this is Quran." Don't you see this is Quran? This is not only those stories there. This is Quran. Behold, th uh, thou dost say to the one whom you receive the grace of Allah and favor. Allah gave him favor. What the favor? Take the wife of that guy. Retain, retain your wife for you and fear and fear Allah. Allah saying to him, why you say that to him? The hypocrite Muhammad, after he said that, uh oh, what I did, I should tell him to divorce her. And then he claimed that Allah gave him a verse saying, that Zainab, she is going to be his, and he will have her, and he will sleep with her, and he should not be afraid or ashamed to do that because of the people. Read really carefully, it says, though this fear the people. So Muhammad, he feared the people. Yeah, Are you there? Yeah. yeah. You still there? At least, uh, to, to say that adoption is not, uh, not uh, allowed now. Is it, is it my friend, my friend, there is a verse about adoption. You do not need to sleep with the wife to forbid adoption. You can already there is a verse in the Quran to forbid adoption. So if I forbid sleeping with the with the with the with the donkey, should I sleep with the donkey to prove that you can sleep with the donkey? What does this have to do with this? Be smart, man. So now, listen, I'm, I'm not going to speak to you longer than this. Yeah. Are you going to leave Islam or no? Well, actually, I want to just clarify one more thing. Just one more thing. Okay, it's the same way. Just uh, very fast, and you know, uh, that is about the Maria Dikov. What, uh, what is the exact uh, interpretation? And you know, because different, different people say different uh, stories. I want to know from you because I, I feel that you are speaking everything from the hadith and all. So just give me the details, please, if you don't mind. Just D for details fast, about what? Know. Details about what? About the Quran, about the Quranic verse about Maria Dikov. Is there any, any anything like that? In, in the Quran, there is in the Quran there is nothing about in the Quran in the Quran there is nothing about Mary the cult, But uh, the Quran clearly says that Muhammad yeah. have it's legal for him to have sex with his captured slaves only. Right? Yeah. Okay. okay. And Mary the cult is not yeah, a captured slave. She is a gift from the ruler of Egypt. So Muhammad was not yeah, sleeping okay. with her lawfully. He is a filthy man again. Because as you see, chapter 33, it says, who is lawful for Muhammad? The first one is his wives. Then the right hand process from the prisoner of war. Prisoner of war. Mary the Copt, she is not a prisoner of war. So Muhammad, when he was sleeping with her, he was doing fornication. Yeah, so Muhammad cannot be a prophet. I mean, how he, how this guy receive a guidance verse from Allah about who and what women can sleep with, and yet he sleep with women are not included. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So according to the according to the interpretation, it was in the Hafsa's house, right? If I if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, you know, uh, when when Hafsa she found him sleeping with uh, Mary, uh, she said to him, he was sleeping already with her, but because now she's get angry because he sleep in her bed in her house. So she said to him, in my house, in my bed, Muhammad, filthy man, imagine he bring a woman to the bed of the wife 
and he she the woman she got in he found the prophet uh, he, he found her uh, her feet around the head of the prophet and the prophet looked like a donkey you know what i mean so she had her her legs around the prophet neck and the prophet doing boom boom and then uh, 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 hafsa she said to him fi bayti wa fi sariri ya muhammad in my house in my bed you idiot So how this is can be a prophet of God? Aren't you going to leave Islam, my friend? Yeah, yeah, maybe very soon. But uh, there's another thing. Now, what are the privileges given to the prophet, uh, CB? Just the last question. Especially you see, in, in, the, in, the, in the last uh, hour, in, in, the, in the last hour, every second you say to me the last question, all of them, they are last question. You are avoiding, you are avoiding, you don't want to say, I have to admit, Muhammad is a fraud, I'm leaving Islam. Each yeah, time I say to you, are you going to leave Islam? You say, one last question, one last question, okay. Privileges, then I will take a decision. The privileges, then I will take a decision. So this is, you promise this is the last question and then you will answer me? Because each time I ask you, do you want to leave Islam? You say, this. Well, one more question, uh, last question. Okay, so what is the question? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah that is to know, I want to know the special privileges given to uh, our prophet, mm. okay, the 16 privileges, mm. 16, oh yeah, 16, no? yeah, and uh, is, is it, a, is it a, the, the thing which you are taking is from the, is it authentic, authentic, authentic uh, this thing or what, uh, the, uh, I want to know, just know about that too. I don't understand any word from what you say, what is authentic, what is authentic, I don't understand, yeah. what you say? What I'm sure you know, you're talking about the privileges given to the prophet. Is it taken from an interpretation? Or how, how My friend, it it's in the front of you. No, no, this is Quran. The privilege is in the front of you. It says here, it says the privilege, those are, this is a privilege only to thee, only to thee. This is Quran now. Now, the Muslims, by, yeah. by studying the scholars, they study how many privileges the Prophet yeah. he, he have from the Quran. So they collect it from all over and they come, yeah. they have an average of 16 privilege. About nine or 10 of them is about yeah. his is about his penis. And, and, yeah, explain it to me, please. First, yeah, I will just, yeah. Okay. The last question. All right. Explain uh, to me, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All what right. is the first one, like, in okay. detail in Arabic, and then so that I can... Uh, yeah, let me, let me find... Uh, you're taking a source from there, like, uh, what is the source you're taking? Hold on, let's, let me see where I can find the re reference about the privilege. Is it written in hadith or is it a, just no? A, and this is interpretation. Always interpretation. Yeah. Yeah. You see, oh my, can you tell me who is the interpreter? Like uh, who is the person? Like uh, interpreting this thing? Like uh, is it a? Uh, I don't understand what. Yeah, who is the interpreter? Like uh, who is the person who is interpreting this? This one we were we were using the the book of Al Qurtubi, and in the book of Al Qurtubi, Al Qurtubi he is not giving interpretation really as much he is quoting for you uh, what uh, what previous Muslims in the time of Muhammad they said, you know. Uh, let us see here. Give me a second. Okay. I'm just trying to find you the uh, like official website. Uh, so, 
Saudi Arabia. Yeah, well, I, I have the website of Saudi Arabia, but I'm trying to find uh, uh, an official website, not just any uh, website, you know. Here we go. Uh, let us see. Uh, okay, no, hold on. Uh, no, this one is not uh, valid. Hold on. I mean, the story has nothing to do with our story. Uh, You see, there is a website. It's not uh, it's, uh, like which is an official website, but it's not opening. Uh, it's it is down. But, it's not opening. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's see. Yeah, usually it doesn't take long to find the uh, reference, but uh, we want to find it from the books directly, not from. Inshallah, then we will find. Blogs. Say Inshallah, we'll find. Uh, okay. We'll get. Yeah, I will say Inshallah next time. Uh, okay, hold on. Okay. Well, I made a video about it. You can go and watch this. Uh, did you see the video I made about it? I have many of them. I mean, I have the reference in the screen there. I have everything in the screen. So. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. If you can explain to me, just you know, without looking at this thing, just to. Better, well, you know, the privilege, the privilege of the of Muhammad, according to the Muslims, they are about sixteen privilege. Most of them yeah. is about his sexual, uh, uh, you know, uh, desire and his money. I think nine of them is about his sexuality, and then there is uh, uh, two about money, like the best of uh, the best of the booty, the fifth of the booty, and the rest all of them they are about sex, you know. And this is telling us that Muhammad is making his own book for his own privilege. He is not really a prophet. Otherwise, you know, why Jesus did not make a privilege for him? Why Musa did not make it? Most of them, they say Jesus is a prophet. And they say Musa is a prophet. They say uh, 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 Abraham was a prophet. Why did they not make a privilege about their private part, about their money? Why did not make a privilege to be treated differently from the, from the crowd? So... Jesus, the, for the Christian, he is their God, yet he did wash the feet of his followers. He did not ask for any money, any privilege, nothing. And not only that, he forced them to wash their feet. And the one who refused that, he said to him, if you don't let me do that, you don't belong to me. And you don't know me and you don't know you. So why Muhammad, he want all the privilege about his private part, about his pocket. If he is a servant sent by God, why the best of the booty is for the prophet? Why he needs that? Best of the booty in a sense? Huh? What do you mean best of the booty? Well, he, you know that. Best of the booty? Yeah, yeah best, uh, the best of the booty. The best of the booty. Muhammad, he have it to his pocket. Huh? Booty. Sorry? Is it from 
the doesn't matter why why you want you why you want to make a versus saying the best of the booty is for me you know what about okay you are a muslim all of all of them they are a bunch of thieves attacking caravan why muhammad you need to take the biggest tv so we attack the caravan and we find the tv and then now the biggest tv go to the prophet why he didn't even go to war he's staying at home so because simply he is making privilege for his business you know he's a he's a filthy he want to be rich and the funny the muslim they say when the prophet he died he borrowed money from a jew his neighbor and he gave him even his uh, uh, his sword but when muhammad died there was no jews left he killed them all no jews left the jews either they die being killed slaughtered or they flee so they fabricated stories But it says, no, that, uh, you know, there's a compassion. Yeah, it says, yeah, it's mean, peaceful. Like, no, it was okay. Like, no, I mean, yeah, well, this is, this is, this is the, the, the mean of that is the opposite. This is about Muhammad saying to the Jews, you cannot force your children not to convert to Islam. You know, no complosion in religion. But he is the one, the same, who says that the one who, who, who leave Islam after, uh, after belief, so he, uh, he, he, he shall die and he is dead. You know, kafir. Hmm. So, what do you think, my friend? Yeah, no, no. I mean, yeah, from the, from this point of view, no, I don't believe these things. You know, like it's not a, it's not a. Um, you cannot imagine these things. That's the reason to be frank. You know, because since it's a religion, you know, I have to just you know, again one one day maybe I'll speak to you regarding some other this thing, and then I'll anyway I'll make up my mind and I'll I'll talk to you anyway. After two three days. Okay, so you you will call me after, you will call me after two days and you will tell me if you decide to leave Islam or not. Yeah, yeah. Maybe oh. after two or three days, you know, because I had that problem that about the privilege. I won't actually go in, go in detail with you. Yeah, so and you can search. When you, when you, you can search in YouTube as long. Uh, when, I think you saw my video before the, about the privilege, right? You saw you saw any video of me about the privilege of Muhammad. Uh, yeah, you can search. You can you can search for that. You can search it and watch it. Oh, somebody saying that they post the link for you about the privilege of Muhammad. You can you can watch it. Somebody posted in the chat, so you can go and see. It. Yeah. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling, and I'm happy that you agreed with me that a lot of garbage in Islam and the Quran. So do we agree together now? The Quran cannot be from God. And it's full of garbage. Yeah, you, no, no, yeah. Um, you agree in that? According to the this thing, you know, you cannot. Uh, okay, so so you know, why you are waiting to leave please. Islam? Why you are waiting to say I want to leave Islam if you already agree that the Quran full of garbage? Yeah, yeah, not like that, you know. So because I was born Muslim, and then I had to, you know, consider so many things, and you know, I had to be, uh, I had to be firm, you know. I cannot just say for the sake of telling, you know. Okay. Prefer, uh, All right. So do, do, do you leave, did you decide to leave? So, so okay. All right. I'm not going to force you to say I'm out of Islam, but for me already you are out of Islam because you admitted the Quran is full of garbage. Anyway, my friend, thank you very much for calling, and I will be happy to receive a call from you okay, in a few thanks, days from now. Thanks a lot. All right. You are, you are welcome. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Bye. Take care. Bye. bye. All right. Oh, uh, Saif al-Islam is texting me. Let us see. He's not answering. The kid say I want to say he's saying to me say I want to debate for uh, Fifi 
you idiot how many time I said I will you, my Skype is open you idiot potatoes if your Fifi dare he will say okay Christian Prince this is my Skype call me but he don't dare you neither your Fifi neither your Mimi all of you are a bunch of coward you don't even dare to speak to me when Fifi Mimi hijab he said you want to debate Christian Prince he what he did he brought some videos do anything for them did you say that hang up on him gun help again okay? because he was so scared to talk to me he knew if we have a debate he is no match for a second so what they did set up they put the the uh, uh, the laptop at the end of the room so even when i answer when i speak nobody here in his microphone but the stupid he forgot that i was speaking live in my broadcast they thought by doing that the muslim will not hear my answer and in the same time they did not let me talk they are terrified all of you are terrified and the honest of you he leave islam The honest of you, he leave. Where is Adnan Rasid? Adnan Rasid, give me your Skype, I will call you. Mimi Hijab, I, I dare you, you potato, to accept. Open conversation, say whatever you want, I say whatever I want, and let everybody laugh. And the one who hang up first is the coward. I'm not going to mention Fifi, he's a, from the people of Lut. He will call me Habibi, and he will uh, blink in his eye. You know, when, when men in the Middle East, they blink with their eyes, that's mean they are something. You know what I'm saying? Very bad behavior. Those who they are trashy, garbage, criminals, they do this. They blink with their eyes. Men, man is speaking to man. And the man he blink with his eye in the Middle East is very well known that this is the trashy ones who they do everything under the table. And they call me Habibi. You can call your friends Habibi, but don't call me Habibi. Now, I want a man to debate me. Who there? You see the guy who called me? I wasn't debating him. I was having just a nice conversation with him. Right? So choose what you want. No problem. Don't debate me. Let us have a conversation. Let us see everybody. Everybody will be the judge. Hmm. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Do we have a good time? We have only 1,300 people watching. Why? Where is everybody? Okay, let us, let us um, make the topic more interesting. We will talk about the magnificent beautiful shin of Allah let us see how many they will come now to the join when they see the shin the beautiful magnificent shin of Allah which Allah will reveal for us in the day of judgment brother can we see more than the shin or we stop with the shin? Like what will happen when we arrive here, brother? Okay, Allah, he uncover his shin, brother. Okay, this is the shin limit, brother. Are we going to see up more, brother? Or that's it, brother? Shin of Allah. And the funny, the Muslims, in order to solve this problem, they say to you, this is metaphorical. Muhammad says you will see him like you see the moon. What metaphorical? The question was, are we going to see Allah? Not the power of Allah. Not the, are we going to see Allah? He said, do you have a problem to see the moon, the sun? They said, no. He said, this is how you will see Allah. And why we will see only the shin? What about the rest? So what? I look here, now I stop. I cannot see more. Why? Is it haram? Hmm. How to prove that Isa is God from the Quran? First of all, we don't believe in Isa. Isa is a fiction, stupid name created by a stupid idiot who do not know how to quote a name correctly. Same time, I believe that Muhammad the idiot he come with the name Isa because Mary, Maryam, 
the sister of Aaron, she have a son, his name is Isa. So Muhammad, he thought Isa, the son of Maryam, the nephew of Aaron, is the Messiah. What is the female for a mule? I don't know. Ask Allah. Allah is the one who said, I created everything male and female. And then he said he created the mule. So where is the female mule? <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, guys, I think we have a good time. Uh, I would do more short videos. You know, I just bought a gadget. I'm going to arrive in maybe a few days from now. So I will be able to make short videos. And really, I want, I, I appreciate you if you help us to get more review in the short videos because I notice when I go live on air I mean we have amazing view when we don't go live on air we have a few people really compared to the life and I believe the reason of that I understand people they are seeking entertainment it's funny it's stupid it's crazy um, you know I understand but what we do here is very important I am not your entertain entertainment center Muhammad is a stupid I agree funny crazy donkey i agree but this is not why i am here i am not here to uh, to make you laugh i am here to laugh at the devil to fight the devil so i want people who here to stand with me fighting the devil not just laughing if you are just laughing that make you just a loser wasting your time killing your time doing nothing ha ha ha, ha and then we go we sleep I don't want this kind of people so i will make short videos and I, I i hope that all of you will help to bring more viewers and more people and don't forget to add subtitle translate the videos and uh, i hope those videos will be good short and easy to swallow to understand will make a point maybe like five ten minute videos uh, and that will make it easy for people to download to share to translate uh, and for sure we will make live broadcasts which is going to be long but I'm going to do more, way more short videos, uh, especially when I am in the go, like I'm not behind my computer. I will use this gadget, which I purchased already, uh, I told you. And thanks for your donation, guys. Those who support us, they make things that's possible to happen by, by the help and the, and the support. So I hope you will support us in what we do. And at the end of the day, the purpose of what we do is to save your children. You, want, you don't want your child to go to school and come back home people laughing at him for being a, no he believe in God he's a leg uh, and there is if there is any one of you he speak Korean language he is willing to translate short videos for sure sure this is volunteer the Muslims are targeting people in Japan in Korea like there's a kid he's a Korean he have a big number of subscribers and the Muslim they fool him and they converted him to Islam and now they are using him to fool Korean people so we need your help Otherwise, your son, your children are the target. If you think you are away from this disease, you are wrong. Your child go to school. He meet with Muslims, and Muslims are very well-trained kids to attack Christianity. While your son know nothing. Your son, he go to the church. The priest, he teach you what? Pray to Jesus. No teaching, no education, nothing. Those are priests of business. Those are priests who they are there to be glorified and to collect a lot of donation and then they buy big house, nice cars, go vacation. Here we do what nobody do. And what we do here is to protect your children before we protect you. They go to university, they fool them. So what we do is extremely important. We are more important than the vaccine for Corona. Quran kill more people than all the corona happens from the beginning of time. All the plagues, all the diseases, nobody killed as much as Islam. 80 million Indian killed by Islam. 80 million, nobody speak about them. Just in India alone. So we need real supporters. We do not need just a bunch of fluffers because those they don't count for me and I don't count for them. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. So if you are a truly a person who support the truth and the truth will set you free, then support the truth. Not by saying I do support, but by doing support. And support is very easy. 
Oh, what else can you download the video, share it, add subtitles to speak languages, translate your country language, Spanish, Portuguese, Korean, Japanese, Chinese, whatever you can. I wish I speak all languages, otherwise I will go live in all languages, but I don't. The only language I speak is the language of the mule Muhammad. So, I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false, made by a fool. His name is Muhammad. And if a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? If a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how full are you? It's a question you answered. Thank you and God bless. See you soon.